This video is uh, about paramecium's. I'm using a uh, 100x bright field type Nikon plant acromat lens on a Nikon fluopod scope, and I'm using a 1.40 NA condenser opened wide open for maximum detail and I just found a little secret that nobody told me uh, normally if you open the aperture like this in the field in the field uh, aperture iris is uh, open quite a bit what you'll get is almost zero detail So just fiddling around a few minutes ago I closed the uh, iris on the field lens and voila the contrast zipped right up there where now I can see everything and I can still have the aperture on the condenser wide open at 1.40 for maximum detail from the condenser. So basically this is this is a test video using this 100x plan acromat lens and wow look at the detail you can just see that the water must be going bad in the jar because they have uric crystals inside their bodies forming. That usually means the water's getting old. I'll have to change it. I've kept these guys alive for six weeks in a jar or seven weeks now. And you can see easily see the trichosis inside the cell wall. You can see the mouth on these guys. You can see uh, everything moving around inside their bodies, organelles, food vacuoles, and I wish I knew more about what I was looking at, but you can see the mouth fairly easily and the oral groove, and you can see it as I focus down through, there you can see it there working. And he's conveniently turning side on so we can see it better. I also added a nice large drop of protoslow to the water before I added the specimen water. Then I put the uh, cover slip over it and <clears throat> focused on an area on the slide with a 40x and then lowered the stage, put the uh, 100x on the turret in line And then uh, turned it off center a little bit and put a drop of uh, protos uh, put a drop of oil immersion oil on the uh, top of the cover slip where the bright spot of the uh, the light was coming through and then raised the stage till the lint. Uh, Line the 100x back up and then raise the stage till the bottom of the lens hit the oil and then I uh, watched through my eyepieces as I focused so I don't crack the uh, cover slip which I've done many times. Here you can see the grooves and lines of the uh, cilia 
Those dots are the cilia. <clears throat> Looking down from the top. At first I didn't like this 100X because I wasn't getting good results from it, but now I'm, I'm pretty much liking it. Sent to me by a friend in North Carolina who also sent me these samples. Apparently they're from an overflow at the base of a public water fountain in a park. Not, by the way, the water you drink. Uh, the stuff around these things is just the, some of the scum that here you can see I'm uh, opening and closing the field aperture just to give you an idea of how that changes the contrast there. See this is opening it and see how you just lose the contrast. It's just Now I'm closing it <coughs> and the contrast jumps out at you. I guess when it was open you're, there was still contrast but you had to. It narrowed the uh, plane of the focus so much that it just uh, you weren't seeing what you were supposed to see or what I like to see anyways. The proto-slow seems to be doing its job here. You can see the trichosis inside the cell wall there. I've never seen them shoot out in my samples. However, I've seen them shoot out in, uh, in b other videos on YouTube. So he's taking a nap. Ah, oh, there he is, waking up. And we're about getting to the end of this video.